I want to talk to you this morning about the importance of the scripture, the importance of God's word. Hello, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video and just ask a big favor of you to help us get this message and these messages out. And I'm still learning the YouTube algorithms, which is what YouTube uses to promote videos. There's so much that's on YouTube. There's so much that's on social media and there's a lot that's beneficial and there's a lot that's not, especially from a kingdom perspective, a perspective of the things of God. We're, we're trusting God and praying that these will be a blessing both to the church and to help get out the news in a way of evangelism to those who don't know Christ or that are looking to walk in a deeper way with the Lord through the spirit and through the power of the scripture. So if you would help us in this way, uh, it really helps if you subscribe, that will help promote these videos. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel. If you want to be notified of the new videos that are being released, hit the bell icon that's next to the subscribe button on YouTube. And then also hit the like button. And if you do that on any of these videos that you like, if you are enjoying the videos, if it's something that you feel God is using, please hit the like button. And what this does is this helps promote the video through the YouTube algorithm. And we're trusting that God is giving us uh, some kind of ministry that will actually touch people's hearts, that'll do a work. We really just want to glorify the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus Christ. So if you can help us in that, we truly appreciate it and ask God to bless you also. Back to the video. Many people today have a problem with giving any attention or time to the Bible. Uh, there's a lot of good people and good Christians that uh, good good people that are following Christ and say that you know it's by the Spirit and it is indeed but as a result of a certain belief or uh, their persuasion of relationship with Christ relationship with Jesus they forsake the scripture turn away from the Bible say it's no longer needed when, when so many are caught up in certain beliefs or understanding and have turned away from what would be considered, I would think, simple truth, which is the benefit of the Word of God. And if you watch these videos, I'm constantly speaking of the indwelling power and promptings of the Holy Spirit. And I know that we're to be able to hear the voice of the Lord, which is the inner voice, the inner life Christ because Christ truly is in us through faith through that seed of the Word of God and it's not a written letter in the scripture but it's what's been written by the Spirit the new nature of Christ that's written and implanted upon the hearts of God's people just as the stone tablets were given to the people through the intercessor of Moses who was the intercessor between God's people, Israel, and, and God himself. So we've been giving the living word, which is Jesus Christ, who is the intercessor. And just as the stone tablets were the handwriting of God upon those tablets that were cut out of the mountain, so the word of God has been written on the hearts of the people, not on stone tablets, but on the fleshly tables of the hearts of God's people. And the, the, the Spirit is who makes those things alive. But there's a witness. <clears throat> there's a faith that is helped and benefited greatly through the written word, the Bible. And it's a foundation that I think many are laying aside. And, you know, people have no problem watching the news. People have no problem with all manner of entertainment, all manner of chatter and and speaking and uh, you know people that wouldn't that would refuse to watch any YouTube video or any video that has to do with the scripture um, and though they are followers of Christ would have no problem watching some ungodly program and that's not everybody but there's a lot of people and those that would uh, avoid discussing the scripture and the word of the Lord would have no problem uh, having a conversation about some vanity that has no part in the eternal kingdom of God. Smith Wigglesworth sermons from over a hundred years ago, and he would have been called somewhat of a, a strange man in his time. But he said, 
you know, there's a lot of godless vanity chatter, even over dinner or at the breakfast table or when you're gathered together with people for a meal. And he said, rather than all that empty, vain talk that goes on, that we know that goes on, he said, why not spend a few moments reading the scripture and then spend some time in prayer to together? Now, that may be counted as religious by many, and just a religious act, formalism, so forth. God used Brother Smith Wigglesworth in a mighty way in healing the sick, in, in saving uh, sinners, bringing people to conviction. The power of the Holy Spirit was moving through that man. He didn't necessarily need to get up and read a scripture to people. Uh, there was a witness there where people were convicted just by the presence of the man. But surely that word of God benefited him. It benefited him. He was drinking deeply of the words of the Lord. And we have such a benefit today. Good grief, you can get a Bible just about anywhere. You can order one on Amazon. You've got one on your phone. You've got one on the tablet. You've got every interpretation under the sun. All the different versions. You've got Bible helps. You've got commentaries. You've got, uh, you know, the the Greek and the Hebrew text that you can go and look up. Uh, and and maybe that has spoiled people because they have uh, stopped relying on and depending on the Holy Spirit. And that's not what all at all what I'm saying. I want to encourage you today. The great benefit that we have in the scripture. And we can see this. Paul speaking to his son in the faith. Says to Timothy... But as for you, continue in the things that you have learned and of which you are convinced, holding tightly to these truths, knowing from whom you learned them, and how from childhood you have known the sacred Hebrew scriptures, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus, surrendering, surrendering your entire self to him and having absolute confidence in his wisdom power, and godliness. And before I read the next verse, I might say, Paul understood that faith comes by hearing, says over in Romans, and, and hearing by the word of God, and that there's a benefit in preaching. As a matter of fact, God chose the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Well, we're reconciled by the cross, by the death of the Lord Jesus, but we're saved by his life. And to draw, for, to learn to draw from that life of Christ continually. That isn't something that we just wake up once we've received Christ as Lord and uh, understand the revelation of, of the Lord Jesus Christ in his temple. We don't just wake up and immediately know his will and his purposes and, and know him in that intimate way. We have to go to our knees and onto our face. We have to begin to pull from that source of life of Christ from hearing his voice. But we're going to have a hard time. Now, the Lord can do it in a miraculous fashion. For those that have had no opportunity to get a hold of the Bible, of the scriptures, and they're still, you know, we're sending money over to nations where even some of the pastors don't have the Bible yet interpreted it into their dialect, into their language in some of these nations and some of these places, let alone the people. Uh, they just don't have access to the Word of God. And God can still speak to these people and, and, and bring a witness that they know that they're hearing the voice of the Lord for themselves by the Spirit. But what a benefit it is when there's a witness through the Scripture. And Paul was talking to Timothy who didn't have all the writings that we have in the New Testament, it was just the Hebrew Old Testament. And yet in that Hebrew Old Testament, there was a witness of Christ. Jesus was, una was able to unfold the scripture to the two on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection. And it was in the breaking of bread. It was in the opening up of that law to reveal Christ. That he All of that was a pattern, which was Christ. All of the pattern of the temple was the body of the Lord. All those mysteries 
were unveiled by the Spirit, but there was a witness that they received through the written word, through that, that scripture that they'd been taught since they were young. We can't throw out the baby with the bathwater just because we have access to the Spirit of the Lord through the Holy Spirit that's within the people of God. That no man can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. And so if you can say in a truth that Jesus is your Lord and your King, you say that by the power of the Holy Spirit. But you don't then say, then I'm going to turn away from the Scripture and if God wants me to know something, He'll just speak to my heart. There's too much other voices in the world, too many other words. You know, we've got access to information day and night, 24 hours a day on our phones, on tablets, on the television, non-stop words and voices. Uh, and trust me, flesh is weak. Flesh is going to pull to that which is common and a temptation to flesh. And you know it, flesh goes towards the bad news, towards the evil report towards those things that uh, have no faith in them whatsoever. That's why, you know, during the political season, everybody's glued to the television about what's going on in the political world. And a lot of it's fear-mongering. Everything is, if the right candidate isn't elected, the world's going to end. And people believe that. And they begin to lose faith in Christ, and they put their faith in, in the, the systems of men. And they parrot and speak those same things to everybody as though that's the gospel. As though that's the savior of the world through some, through some other source or some other place other than Christ who is the only king. The only mediator between man and God. But you're not going to hear that on the news. You're not going to see that in many movies or many television shows. Or you're not going to read that in many books. You're not going to hear uh, or that around the people that you conduct your business with at the store, at the very rare, you're going to find that truth in the scripture. And if you're taking in all that other noise, and vain words, and partial truth all day long, uh, it's going to have an effect on your mind and on your heart. It's going to begin to take the faith that's in you by the Spirit and make it of none effect, make it powerless in your life doesn't mean that the Lord's left you, just means you're drawing and relying upon that word that has subtly been put into your heart and become a foundation for your life and, and left the true foundation, which is the word of God, which is Christ. We're not elevating the Bible. We're saying God's given it to us to, for, for by his grace that we might learn to depend upon that word. Of Christ and we can find instruction that leads to life in the book in the Bible that's why it says and you've known from your childhood you have known the sacred writings the Hebrew scriptures which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus surrendering your entire self to him and having absolute confidence in his wisdom power and goodness those things are going to be encouraged. They're going to, you're going to be encouraged in those things, not through the voice of the world, but through the voice of the Lord. And that, that word's been written down for your benefit. And there's nothing wrong with hearing over and over and over again the word of the Lord until, until you recognize when it comes out of your heart, you recognize the difference between the voice of the Spirit and the voice of the flesh. That which is of the Spirit is always going to line up to the Word of God. You're going to have two witnesses there so that you're not led astray. He says, All Scripture is God-breathed, given by divine inspiration, and is profitable for instruction and conviction of sin, for correction of error and restoration to obedience, for training in righteousness, learning to live in conformity to God's will, both publicly and privately, behaving honorably with personal integrity and moral courage so that the man of God may be complete and proficient, outfitted and thoroughly equipped for every good work. Well, there's a lot said there of the benefit. And I don't think that's just an advertisement to sell Bibles. I think God made plain through his witness, Paul, 
who had learned the scripture also from his youth. And of course, it was the Hebrew scripture. And before the Spirit came, it was death unto him. And, and it was death unto the apostles. Because he used that word of God according to the law. And he persecuted the church. But when the Spirit, when Christ came to him and revealed, that scripture became alive to him. And it became life. Suddenly, that word that was unto death, that same law, he didn't have, he wrote most of the New Testament. Paul didn't have, he didn't have the New Testament. Those that have a hard time preaching Christ or seeing Christ in the Old Testament, let me tell you, that's all those men had. Every revelation, every understanding that they received from the law, from the prophets, from the scripture, it was that Old Testament. But it became new. It became new through the Spirit, through the enlightening of the Holy Spirit, through the enlightening of Christ. That same word that was death to him, that was condemnation, that, that either caused people to come up into pride or, or brought them down into despair because they couldn't keep the law. That same word, the high places came down, the low places came up, the crooked ways were made straight, and there was a place, a plane that was directly made for the appearing of Christ out of that word of God. Suddenly everything came together and the whole scriptures pointed to the Lord Jesus Christ and to the love of God and to the mercy and the grace of the Lord. And so we see this today. This is a reality. But we need to continue in the scripture and I'm going to look to continue to make some messages that just our Bible study or follow the scripture. And for those that, that need encouragement in those things, maybe it'll encourage you. Not that I'm trying to uh, be a teacher that anybody needs to depend upon, but hopefully it'll encourage people of the benefit and the blessings of the scripture and to get into the word of God and allow that sharp two-edged sword of the spirit met with the wisdom that's in the scripture to do a work that cuts us off from our own mind and reinforces the truth of the love of God in our heart that's growing up, the kingdom of God that's increasing day by day. The outer man perishes, the inner man is renewed day by day, causing us to walk in life and victory over all the power of the enemy unto eternal life. Bless you today. See you again soon.